Hey everybody, Wentz Bitten here. So I wanted to make an introductory video to introduce new viewers to my channel and explain what it is, and also as an opportunity to talk to all of my longtime viewers uh, about the channel, about maybe some of my thoughts um, on what it means to uh, to play Warhammer and be a good gamer and and some of those things. So it'll be a short video. I uh, appreciate you spending the time with me on it. So I've been playing Warhammer just for a few years now. I've been uploading battle reports for, my guess is, two and a half years. When I first started doing it, uh, when I first started playing Warhammer, I played High Elves. And about the time I, I picked up Bretonians is when I started making these YouTube battle reports. And so, especially if you watch my, my very first ones, you'll see my Bretonian army actually uh, unpainted, and you'll, you can see them progress, getting more and more painted as the battle reports went along. Uh, my first games were under the screen or under the YouTube channel that's listed in the upper left hand corner. It was a series of numbers. I don't know why or how that uh, that channel was created with that name, but I used it for a while until all of a sudden there was a glitch in the YouTube system and I couldn't upload videos for a, a month or two. So I created a new channel with a better name, uh, and so the, now we're at once been 360. So anyway, uh, within the last year, I've picked up Beastmen and have played them on and off, although Bretonians tend to be my main army. Uh, I've slowly been collecting some Empire and Wood Elf models because I'm really interested in starting those armies, but I just haven't really got around to it yet. Uh, I'd, I like to play an army until it's almost completely painted uh, before starting a new one. So to start off, let me. what I love about this game, one, I love the strategy of it. Uh, I love playing chess. I love uh, board games in general. Uh, I think this uh, this game has, you know, it's not perfect. In, in a lot of ways, it wasn't meant to be a tournament-type game. But nevertheless, uh, I really get wrapped up in the strategy uh, of building lists and of in-game strategies and tactics, and it's just a lot of fun. Uh, I like immersion into the Warhammer world. I think the, the whole Lord of the Rings, Tolkien-esque, uh, genre is uh, is a lot of fun. Uh, I like it for the community of it. Uh, I've, I've, I've moved recently and, and, and uh, one of the ways I made friends when, when I moved here to my new place is through Warhammer and uh, I do enjoy going out and grabbing a beer with everybody uh, on a Saturday night after a couple games. And lastly I love the hobby aspects. I love that it's not just a game you buy and play as it is but you collect and build your armies and you can customize them and, and paint and I never considered myself, and I still don't consider myself artistic, but it's been fun developing some level of skill uh, in painting, although I don't kid myself about being a brilliant painter. Um, I, a couple thoughts I wanted to put out there, just two, on being a good gamer. And then I want to maybe make some requests of you as a viewer. Number one, it's really important in any game, but with Warhammer especially, to make sure everybody has fun. Um, the first part of that is it's really important to bathe. I mean, holy mother of... You know how many tournaments I've been to where somebody's standing right behind me where we can't move around because the tables are so close together and this guy hasn't bathed in three weeks? So let's, um, let's get rid of the, the certain stereotype about gamers and all of us promise each other that we're going to start taking baths uh, regularly. Number two, I think it's important to get a feel for what your opponents are looking for in a game. Uh, I, I can go for a lot of different kind of games. I love a really competitive game. And if somebody uh, just trounces me because they played just a much better tactical, tactical game, for me that's fantastic. Uh, some people really aren't comfortable with that and I think we drive them away from the game because they don't feel like they can compete in an uber competitive environment and so then they just feel silly and they quit playing. So if there are people in your gaming group that really enjoy the fluff of it, or they just enjoy collecting models and painting them and kind of showcasing them and seeing them on the table, or they're just looking for a, a venue with which to develop some camaraderie with people, figure it out uh, what your opponents are looking for in a game and, and maybe tailor your game accordingly. Uh, play competitive lists against competitive players and bring fluffy lists and, and, uh, and have closer games with people that don't want to be that competitive. Uh, number two on my thoughts of being a good gamer is to be a responsible member of your gaming community. And uh, I mean a couple things by that. The first one is, it is so, so important to support your local gaming store. Um, in the two cities I've lived in where I played Warhammer, in both of them, the primary game store went out of business while I was there. 
and I haven't been playing that long. Um, I really I think if you look at the price difference between what you can buy it at your store for and what you might be able to buy it for online, and just take that difference and ask yourself, is it worth this much to be able to have a place where gamers come together and you can find games, you can you can build friendships, you can do all those things. Because when a game store closes down, I've noticed almost every time that you lose a lot of gamers. They just kind of, you know, drift away and uh, don't play the game for a while just because of, of losing the store that they always went to. So uh, I, think it, I think it's still possible to support uh, eBay and online retailers, but maybe go there for niche things, hard to find things. But for your bread and butter stuff, you, I really, really encourage you to support your, your gaming store so that you have a, a place to go. Secondly, I th it, it's nice when people help grow their gaming community. You know, if somebody's hosting a tournament or a league or something, participate in it. Uh, if you don't like the rules, and, uh, then maybe organize your own with rules that you do like. If you don't like the competitive tournament environment, maybe organize a league that's very fluffy. I mean, but, but just be involved with it and, and pitch in and take some of the leadership uh, and not ex just sit around and wait for somebody else to do all that kind of stuff. I'd also encourage you to play a variety of people. I think there's a tendency sometimes for, for people to, to grab two or three friends or three or four friends, and that's all they play. And uh, as a whole, I think the community benefits when, when, when all of us play a variety of people. You, you, you get to see a lot of different things, different models, different tactics, different armies, and it's just more fun for everybody. So lastly, my request from you as a viewer of the channel. Uh, number one, I just ask you to be polite. You really don't need to be polite to me. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty okay with, with whatever people say. Um, I ask that you never say anything negative about my opponents. If you felt they made a, a stupid move or you don't like their list or whatever, just keep it to yourself. It, these people, uh, especially if I win a game and then I, I, I showcase their, their loss to the, to the Internet community, it's nice of them to let me use those pictures. And I've had some people request that I not take pictures or I not make battle reports out of our game. So uh, those kind of comments, when I can, if I see them, I, I will delete. Um, you can say what you want to me, but just be polite to uh, the people I play. And it'd be nice if you were polite to other people who are uh, viewing the, the battle reports and making comments. And number two, uh, participate with me in the battle reports to the extent that you can. Uh, sometimes when you're making them, it, it feels like you're just talking to a wall be because you are. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here literally looking at a computer screen talking and nobody's uh, here to listen to me and provide me with any kind of visual cues or feedback or anything like that. So, you know, if there's a battle report, f participate with it. There's a like button. You can make comments. You can subscribe to the channel. I was at a tournament a few months ago and a, a, a couple guys came up to me during a break and they said, hey, are you once bitten, we noticed your army and it looked familiar. And I said, uh, yes. And, you know, they said, hey, we, we love your battle reports. We, uh, they've really helped us develop our game. And I was like, hey, thank you. That's great. And on a whim, I just said, hey, did you have you subscribed to the channel? And they were like, oh, no. You know, I'm like, well, if you were to do stuff like that, it, it's a way of maybe clapping at the end of a presentation. It's a way of saying thank you for something that you know, it's not like you're paying for, and I don't want you to, but it's just nice if you give me a little bit of, uh, you know, feedback or support or however you want to think about it. Uh, a lot of my battle reports, you'll notice they have several hundred views within a week and uh, usually over a thousand views within a month. And there's maybe 20 comments and maybe nine or 10 likes. So it means a lot of people are watching them and not really interacting with it because they don't think about it. And a lot of times I don't think about it when I watch other uh, YouTube um, YouTube videos. So let me just throw that idea out to you. The, if the extent to which you participate uh, is appreciated by me. And, um, you know, it'd be great if you would do that. There's advertisements on there, which I don't think you should click uh, just for the heck of it. But if you see something uh, that you like, at least click on the advertisement on the channel instead of maybe going off site and, and looking up their website elsewhere. It's just another form of support. So really, that's it. Uh, I think the main lesson to take away is to bathe uh, before you go to the game store and everything else uh, take with, with a grain of salt. Anyway, thanks.